Yo, what is going on guys? Here's here. Today's video is going to be showing off a brand new compiler feature. This is going to let you hot load scripts in the game. Now the reason that's useful is if you have ever been working on a custom map or a mod or a mod menu or whatever you're doing in GSC, I'm sure you've had plenty of times where you need to change something tiny and you got to restart your entire game to even do that. Well, that's a big waste of time. And so what I have done is set up a way for you to run code while you're still in the game. Now, obviously you're gonna to need to set up your code to be able to take advantage of this, but I'll show you an example of what it looks like when you do. So I've got some variables in ZBR to tune the way the weapon damage works. And you can see right here, if I shoot this guy, I'm not doing that much damage. Well, let's go ahead and just inject the script the way we normally do with the same hotkey and everything. And now I'm doing way more damage. And so you can do that with all sorts of stuff. You wanna mess with a trigger, you wanna mess with a model, anything you can script, you can mess with by doing this hot loading. So if you wanna get this set up, just go into the description. There's a tutorial that I have put in there for you to be able to install the compiler and set everything else up. Just follow all the steps, ignore the part about downloading a mod menu and just go into the compiler and create a default project. Once you got a default project set up, go ahead and clear out the scripts folder and just make a new script with the contents of this file here. I'll put this in the description as well. There'll be a GitHub download link. Um, I might even include just a zip file for you to download if you want it. Go into your gsc.conf and set this variable here. Hot equals gsc. If it's not there, just add it in. Hot equals gsc. You can set it up to be a csc as well if you really want to. Um, I'm going to use some CSC injection. That's why I actually wrote this. Um, so it works for either VM. But yeah, you just set up this variable and that's all you got to do. So once you got that set up, you can just inject the code and, you know, run whatever you want. Just make sure whenever you do set it up that you keep it set up the way I've got it where that auto exec threads your main function. If you don't do that, your game is probably going to crash. So just be aware of that. Other than that, that's pretty much it, guys. Hopefully you enjoy this feature. If you do, leave a like. Let me know in the comment section below what kind of stuff you want to see in the compiler, if you want to see any specific features, because this is probably one of the biggest things that I think the community has needed for a very long time. I may also include a debugging portion uh, later down the line, because I have a lot of debugging. I'm going to actually drag over SMC real quick uh, into my screen so you can see it. I can actually log all the game messages right here. So. I may include something like that in the compiler at some point for you guys, so just let me know if you'd like to see something like that, and I'll see you in the next video.